to play anything on the park. I like to run, I like to play, I like to go on the slide or go on the swing. We started noticing them when she was about two, but they weren't convulsions, so we weren't really sure what they were. She only would seize at night, and she would have between 10 and 25 visible seizures. That's not including all the subclinical seizures that she was having also. She'd wake up tired every morning, bag, uh, dark circles under her eyes. We do not know exactly why it is exclusively happening during sleep, but generally speaking, we think that it has something to do with brain regulation. We went through so much testing. She's had hundreds of hours of EEGs. She's had MRIs, PET scans, spec scans, and it was determined that they could not figure that she was having a seizure coming from any one given area. We tried probably seven different anticonvulsant medications. None of them worked. We tried the ketogenic diet. It didn't work. Um, it was difficult. Her diagnosis was a very, very rare genetic disorder called autosomal dominant nocturnal frontal lobe epilepsy. In um, abbreviation, we call it ADNFLE very rare disease. I had really no experience exactly with the same diagnosis, same situation. I started uh, looking up in the literature and then I found a paper which is very, very interesting. This was published in um, one of the epilepsy uh, journal and it was on adult. The, um, the uh, treating physician, after trying every single medication, they tried nicotine patch. And the idea was very similar. Okay, there, there may be some lack of nicotine function. Maybe we should supply. So we decided we were going to try her on nicotine in the form of the patch, of course. And um, this had never been done before with a child. We didn't know how much to give her. We had to go through a few try and error. And then finally, um, we decided that maybe uh, smaller size. I gave her actually a sixteenth of a patch, and it worked. And she's been doing that for about three months now. So what happened with Karen is that since we started using nicotine patch, number one, her seizure stopped. Number two, she could sleep through the night so that she's kind of rested and fresh in the morning. Three, actually there's a little bit of residual effect of um, nicotine helping with her memory. No kid wants to wake up in the early morning when you say it's time for school. But she'll say, I'm tired, and then she'll just get up and get dressed and she's fine. And I don't see the dark circles anymore. And she makes it all the way to bedtime and beyond without a nap, so I know that, I know that it's working. When people with epilepsy come to us, we try to find the cause of epilepsy and try to come up with a solution that really distinguishes us from everybody else, every, every other centers in the state or in the country. And uh, there are truly um, very few centers that has every uh, components that we have on this campus. This means that we can move to a small town in the Rockies, which is happening in a couple of days. This is something we could not have done. We had to stay near a big metropolis as long as she had this condition and we didn't know how to treat it. But now we know how to treat it. So we're going to move forward with our life. Very exciting.